Hi everyone, am I wonky? I don't know why I always set my camera up wonky, but hi. This time last week I actually tried to film in this video and it just turned out really, really bad. I'm gonna do a bit of skincare because my face feels so dry. I just had a shower. I've got these two skincare serums. They're very new in my skincare routine, but I've been loving them. Not gonna lie. Look how cute the packaging is, by the way. There's that. I put these on my face while I talk to you. So basically, I'm at home, if you can tell by the surroundings that I'm in right now. Oh, that's dripping right down my face. I put way too much on at home, which means I get to chill because I handed in my assignment and it's due today. So it was quite early. So yeah, that means I fully get to enjoy just being home and just having a week to myself which is what i'm gonna aim for i feel like i've been non-stop for the past month and a half maybe like, i have been so busy actually everything feels like chaos in my life so i feel like i definitely need to sit down and do a bit of self-care my tan is just a big fat mess i put this tan on last saturday it's monday now obviously it's been on for a while and i just got in the shower then tried to come in a bit of off what was i saying self-care has just gone out the window if you saw my eyebrows up close right now you would be horrified I, they are so unkept and I would never usually let it get this bad. But they need tinting, which is what I'm going to do today. At some point, I need plucking majorly, probably trimming as well because they're really long. And thank God my camera doesn't pick it up that much. We're going to have a full day of doing absolutely nothing. Main focus is me. I'm loving it. That's that. I'm moisturising, by the way. So I've got no one to talk to. So you guys are the people I'm going to talk to. No, I always feel really guilty about like not having like a productive day. I realise is when I actually relax, I'm not relaxing because I'm sat there feeling guilty about like sitting and watching something on Netflix. What should I do? Should we tint it on our eyebrows? I don't know how much you can tell, but they've gone quite gray. So what no, we're doing it. I feel like I'm making a little potion. <laughs> I'm such a child. We're going with it guys. I feel like it's just one of those weeks making it work. All right, that'll do. The thing with me is I'm not even picky about my eyebrows, if you couldn't tell. Um, so like having them tinted, makes my life so much easier because you literally just get my spoolie and my soap and then I'm done and it just makes you look so much more put together. This is the before. Okay, this is how they turned out. What do we think? I don't think they're too bad. They're a little bit dark, but I mean, they always are once you've first done them. So yeah, I'm sure they'll fade in like a day or two. They'll be perfect. Cheers to a cup of tea. Let's watch those clips back from this morning. I'm actually embarrassed at how tired I look. I didn't even like not get enough sleep. I had a good eight hours. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'm gonna do a bit more uni work now. I know my day is so exciting. We also need to go on another flat search because I still haven't got anywhere to live next year. And it's really stressing me out because everywhere that I wanna go, I don't know, like there's just so many different places online where you can look and yeah, basically I'm making a little short list now. There's like quite a lot of people that watch my videos are around my age. Um, so if you're having this struggle, I found this platform, it's called Amber, and it looks like it's going to be a lifesaver for anybody who's going through the same struggle as me, so I'm going to tell you about it because I just want to help you guys out and book your student accommodation through this app. I have like 20k listings on there already, there's probably more than that, but you can do is you can put in your preferences, so price range, you want like a studio, how many bedrooms, etc, just all the key information that you want to add to it. You can like filter from low to high, it just makes it so much easier to find accommodation that's like recommended as well near you. I offer like personalised assistance as well so you can finalise your results and stuff which is great because that's my issue, I'm so indecisive and I found so many really nice places but I just can't choose one. But having this is going to make it so much easier, I'm literally going to go on it as soon as I've stopped filming this video, right? Free cancellations as well which is really good especially at the moment with Covid and everything else that's going on in the world. Having uncertainties with your visa you can just cancel for free, you get yourself some freebies, I'll link everything down below so you can go check them out if you would like. But yeah, thank you for Amber for partnering with me with this video. I'm gonna go stalk your website and find myself a nice flat for next year and I'll update you guys when I do on that situation as I get a bit further along with it. I don't want to jinx anything. I thought I'd found the perfect place and then they said the email back in a few months time because I found it like at the start of the year. By the time I emailed back, it's unavailable now, so yeah. Guys, oh my god, I am literally shaking. It was the most stressful half an hour of my life. Basically, I tried to change something on my assignment so I had to resubmit it, which wasn't supposed to be an issue. It was literally like one little page. It wouldn't save as like a document. It was just saving each spread of like two pages individually which was an ideal port so obviously it had to be all together and when i tell you my whole entire desktop was covered in like there must be a hundred attempts to try and save this so i've been like shaking like i can't even wow okay but we finally did it i deserve food for that obviously i deserve food anyway but like a treat so much for a stress free day sky look how nice look. i mean i say that's like, like, great clouds but the sun is out it looks so funny I had these pancakes my flat made the other day and I can't stop thinking about them. Hi guys, 
so I don't think I've ever been so defeated by pancakes. They are so full, but they were so nice. So, do you, know, you get sad because you want to keep on eating, but we didn't even eat that much. I so recommend that place. I want pancakes now, and I'm debating making them because they were so good, but obviously they're not going to be like that. They're more, more like crap the ones I make. Did it, guys. I made myself some pancakes. Now, I think they look quite nice, and I have tried them. They do taste nice. Something got really cold in my house. I just feel like I literally blend in with the wall. That was really fun. I don't think I have been loving watching this Euphoria. Well, I say loving. I've been a bit hit and miss on season two, episode three, maybe. I know I've not got many episodes left. Next season not going to come out for a while, so I'm not rushing it. The next season was coming out like next week. I'd binge watch it easily. Somebody's got the cutest dog walking past right now, and I would show you. Oh, it's like a little dog walking thing going on. My grandma's been pulled by this dog. Following my really bad miscalculation of time, making some pasta. It's like a little pasta and sauce. I don't know if anybody's had it before, and they're quite nice. They're a bit dodgy to cook, like how they have to boil milk and water and then add the stuff in. for now i shall see you in my next little episode of my life i hope you're all doing well thanks for watching